Hey everyone, hope you're having an absolutely awesome day so far. Now, I'm going to talk about how to fight Blink. I know that I have covered this before in an old video of mine, uh, a almost one hour long guide to faster floor assist engineering. If you're interested, I'll throw the link in an annotation above the video or just click the, li click the link in the description. Hopefully there will be something in there that you like. Anyway, um, I should point out that I am right now recording over a recording I already took. So this mouse that's moving over here on the left is my actual mouse I'm using right now. This mouse I'm circling on the right is my mouse that I was using in-game. That's the one you're going to see clicking on things and actually completing the boss fight. This mouse over here on the left is what I'm going to be using to, to point to things and try to explain everything. I'm sorry if that gets really confusing. So first of all, the first uh, two, I should say, most important things about Blink are, number one, he hits really hard. And it comes off as a magic attack. You'll see it's uh, magic type damage on your character. But um, it's actually range based magic damage. So when you deflect or pray against, uh, pray protect from uh, missiles or ranging, you will take much less damage. So that's very important to keep in mind. The second is the way Blink actually runs. Now, Blink spends a very minimal amount of time actually in the boss room. Uh, while he's doing damage to you. He's just running around the different portals, and you need to be able to react very quickly in order to raise a pillar and stop him. Basically, his mechanic is he'll, open, he'll, he'll uh, run out of one portal, he'll run across the room, and run into the portal opposite of that. What you need to do is click on a pillar to raise it, and that will stop him from progressing any further. He'll bump into the pillar, and then he is targetable. Now, why this is important is because you can, number one, Look at the minimap screen, and wherever the yellow dot appears, you know he's going to run in a straight line to the other side. From there, you can know immediately which pillar you need to raise. It's always best to raise the pillar furthest away because that gives you the most reaction time. If Blink is standing on top of the pillar that you raised, you can't raise it. So say if you try to raise the one right here that this guy is standing on, and Blink is running from over here, if by the time you get there, he's already standing on top of it, it's too late. So that's why it's best to go for the farthest one. It's also important to note that Blink only runs in two directions. He runs from south to north and from west to east. If we look at the, the mini-map compass over here, you'll see that this is the north wall and this is the east wall. I spend the, primary, uh, the, the majority of this floor standing here in this, north, uh, this northeast corner. That's because it gives me the most time to react to two different directions he can be coming from. If he's coming from the south, I can react to this, um, this pillar right here or this pillar. If he's coming from the west to the east, I can react to this pillar and to this pillar again. Now, it's kind of difficult for me to run over and get this pillar or this pillar. It can be done, but I believe standing right here is the best option because here you have options or you have access to three different paths that he could be taking out of the total eight. Actually, no, you have access to, to four of the eight. I'm sorry, but we're going to play through this right now. I didn't start recording until I actually started the fight, so it's a little bit of the ways into it, and you'll see Blink already disappears. You have very little time to attack him. I notice that he comes out of the, out of the portal, and I try, but again, it's very difficult. The reason I couldn't do it was because right here, only one pillar can be raised at a time. So because there was a misclick over here, you know, it happens. I'm not upset at him about it. But it made it so I couldn't raise this pillar. So it's very important to be careful with your clicks and to uh, just really react the best you can. Now, you saw the yellow dot appeared over here. And before Blink has even moved four squares, I'm already on my way over there because you need to have the reaction time for Blink. And then I switch on to Soul Split and I turn on Anguish to do the most damage I can to Blink and heal up at the same time, because Blink does an immense amount of damage. Immediately after, I turn my Deflect Ranging back on. It's all the way over there. I'm not going to waste my time trying to go over there. Again, you saw him appear on the mini-map, and I open up the pillar, or I raise the pillar to stop Blink from running through the portal. This is basically what you just need to keep, keep doing, just rinse and repeat until he dies. I really hope this guide has been helpful for you. If it has, uh, make sure to leave it a like or a favorite. It really helps me out a lot. If you're interested in any further content from me, make sure to check out my channel. I've got a lot of different variety of videos. Also, subscribe if you're interested in future content. I've got a whole bunch of ideas you're going to want to know when they're coming. Anyway, thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my video. Have an awesome day. Stay happy.